vlog to another weekly vlog it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new week and we're feeling good today is going to be a good day i've somehow managed to be up before 6 a.m and i'm on the way to the gym and i've got a very early session because i'm heading to the hairdressers today so i'm not getting anything dramatic like nothing's really changing we're just going to tone the blonde again to get it back to looking like really nice and then i'm going to get some treatments on it so like some olaplex and like some moisture treatments and things and then he's going to just trim the ends so basically a kind of maintenance I guess but I do like getting it trimmed every like two to three months just a tiny little trim because where I've been away a lot I think it just needs that little bit of something because seawater and pool water and stuff can just really affect it obviously when I was away I wasn't using hair masks and stuff either so just like to make sure it looks really good so I'm gonna pop and see Paco take him a coffee as always and get my hair treated trimmed and toned triple T baby <laughs> outfit before I run out the door. We're gonna ignore the state of the office, it's a work in progress, but I'm wearing this blazer from Urban Revival, which is like a double split vibe. Vest, leggings, and my Air Force Ones, just a very classic outfit. I've got a tote bag full of juices, laptop, Kindle, etc. anything I might need while I'm there, and yeah, off to the salon. I've also got these sunglasses that turned up today from a place called Diff. I'll leave them linked if I can find the link, but they're so stunning. They're just like a nice kind of cat eye vibe, but I think they suit my face quite well, so I put them on my head just so I can wear them while I'm driving and stuff. I look a bit like an egg when my hair's like this and I've got sunglasses on, but we're gonna go with it because that's what I'm just gonna have to do until my hair's done later. If you are someone wishing away summer, just know I actively hate you. Nothing beats this weather at all. Nothing. What do we think? It basically looks the same. He just colour melted my roots and we did some treatments. We trimmed the ends a little bit just so I got rid of like the straggly ends. You know when you haven't had your hair cut in like a few months and you get the straggly ends? We just trim them off because then when it's back, it looks a bit more like full and thick and beautiful. But I'm obsessed with it. I'm glad we did the treatments and stuff because it feels amazing and I just love it so much, but I'm actually off to run some errands now because I realized I'm back a lot sooner than I thought. So I thought I'd lose my entire evening because normally when I go to the salon, I do, but I somehow seem to have got home before four o'clock. And because I'm back sooner than I thought, I'm gonna take advantage of the situation. I'm gonna get my return sent off. And then I also have, I think this is quite common everywhere renting, but the previous tenants before me, a lot of their post keeps coming here. I had a few letters recently which are like for MOT. Obviously I don't open them, but like the front will say like MOT is due or like some of them look really important. So I've had some that are like on behalf of like the estate of someone, which makes me think that maybe that's something to do with like an inheritance or someone in their family has died or something. So obviously I want them to get those letters and it's also really annoying that they keep being sent here. So I've had to keep like crossing out and putting return to sender. So I'm just gonna do all of that in one go. Um, I also need to take some of the vintage parcels to be dropped off. I didn't do it over the weekend because, oh God, it's really hot. I didn't do it over the weekend because it was just like, because I find that with the lockers where they don't get collected over the weekend, they're normally full. So I always just wait till Monday and just do it when I know they're empty before people get off work to fill them up again. So I'm gonna try and deposit a few of them at least. And hopefully I should be able to get rid of most of them. There's 30 parcels. And then I do have more that's actually sold today that I need to take too. But I'm gonna see how much I can get rid of today. And basically just have an afternoon of running errands that I was gonna put off till tomorrow because now I've got the time, I might as well, might as well do it. So yeah gonna go for a little afternoon errand run. Wearing the most cozy outfit because I'm so hot. I've literally just got on some shorts from Girl Knows All, which if you haven't seen their website, I recommend checking out. The lighting is terrible. I don't know why I'm doing this stood in the window. Um, but if you haven't checked out Girl Knows All, I recommend, because these are really, really comfortable. They do like sweatshirts, t-shirts, sweatshorts, sweatpants, etc., And they're really cute. They've got like slogans and stuff. And this is just a little Primark top that I normally wear to bed. But I wanted to be cool because it is very, very, very hot outside. So yeah. 
I best get my shoes back on and go run some errands. <laughs> Just got a couple of bits in the post that I wanted to show you. I am going to be making a reel, so I'll put them on the side of the screen here, but I thought this was a really good time to share some of my favourite gym stuff with you because this is a brand that I use pretty much every day, I'd say. Like, I have three or four pairs of shorts from them, a couple of sports bras, maybe, like, three pairs of leggings or something already. I've got quite a lot, and I really like it, so I got a bit more from them um, as part of a collaboration, but I wanted to share because I genuinely love this brand so much so you probably heard me talk about them before but it's women's best which is a brand that do they do various things like they also do like um protein shakes and pre-workout and all that kind of thing you've probably seen like tammy hembrow and everyone else talking about them that's how i actually found out about them at first was tammy hembrow like a couple of years ago so this is the first little sports bra which is black so it's got like a crossover back and they're really comfortable they have got padding which i always take out but they are honestly some of the comfiest sports bras. I don't really have anything, so I don't need like high support or anything, and I don't really do like hit training or running or anything like that, but I do find them really good for walking and cycling and that kind of thing, like not basically just for sports rather than like high impact or anything. And then this is the leggings that match the little sports bra. So they're just classic leggings. They have got a slight bit of texture that I don't know if it will pick up on the camera or not but they've got like a slight bit of texture they've also got different texture under the bum as well which is really flattering and they're really comfortable i wear smalls in all of this just as well for reference so i'm like a very standard well i say very standard size eight but i think it depends where you shop because sometimes now i find that i'm more of a six or i'm more of a ten it just honestly depends where i go and then i got this set which is in cloud gray so it's kind of like a it looks a bit more like mint greeny in person, but it's like a grey, green, creamy kind of colour. And this one is, I don't know what collection, and I don't know what collection it is, but I will leave them linked as I say. So the sports bra looks like this at the front, and then the back just looks like this. So you've got like a, hold it upside down, it might be easier, but you've got like a hole in the middle, and it's also got the women's best branding and stuff. Just really nice and cute. I like the fact that it's got the little strip through as well. I think it's really sweet. So I got that, and then the matching leggings of that one which are fairly similar to the black pair, to be completely honest. But these ones are really nice because they've got the kind of raised seam. Can you see that? It's like raised. And these are nice because they're a creamy colour, but they're not the kind of creamy colour that's going to make you look naked in the gym because that I really don't like. I hate when you've got ones that are nude and you look like you're just not wearing anything. Um, but yeah, these are super comfortable. They're nice and thick, but they're not so thick that they're uncomfortable or like too hot to work out in. And they're nice because they're squat proof and they just they feel like they're really holding you in and just look really nice finally i have a pink set which is not something i typically go for but i have been leaning a lot more to shorts recently because even with the aircon pumping in the gym i get really really hot and i like going on walks and stuff as well and just being able to wear little shorts and like a big oversized t-shirt so i picked up this pair which are just their classic i think these are called like the move short so I picked up this pair, which is like a pink mull, as you can see. So very cute and just simple little pair of shorts, just completely plain and comfortable. These are really nice because they're quite short and you can like ruch them up a little bit and just make them look really flattering on your bum. Um, but they're also not ones that are too far down your leg because I quite like when they're really short and you've got more movement rather than having the ones that are kind of like to your knee. Um, and then this is the sports bra that matches this one. So it just looks like this at the front and then the back is like this it's really hard to show these not on a body so you have to look at the picture but the back is like a uh, racer back at the top and then it's got the hole slightly different to the other one but yeah very cute same in the mall again and really nice but i wanted to quickly show you those and show you some other bits that have just come in from club l as well because i realize i don't always put these into like youtube videos and i have such a busy youtube schedule coming up that i don't know when i'd fit them in so i thought i'd just pop some bits into the vlog because sometimes it's quite nice to have like a mini haul within the vlog rather than just having like constant haul videos so these are the bits from club l i've stepped slightly out of my comfort zone with this one but i got this black dress which on the hanger looks really confusing and i actually don't know how you're supposed to put this on i think it's like a i have a feeling it's like a crossover neckline and then it's got like an open back detail like so i did get this one in a 10 because they had run out of a size 8 in the black but i really really wanted it so i'm hoping it fits if not i'm hoping it's like because it's meant to be kind of like skimming so i'm hoping if not skimming that it's like a little bit loose 
and just looks really nice still or I'm hoping that they come up small I don't know yet and then this is the other thing I got which is a little bit out of my comfort zone but I like it and it's just this shirt which is the green and the blue with the matching little shorts and I thought this was a good set for on holiday because obviously I'm going to Mexico Mexico is very bright very colorful and I really wanted something that I could wear day to night so this I could obviously wear if we were going to the shops and just put some little sandals but I could equally make this look like a nighttime look as well. I'm quite for the versatile dressing, so I wanted to make sure that I had various outfit options from these. And I also like that I could wear this over a bikini open. I could put just the shorts on with a different t-shirt or a vest or something, um, but it's really cute. So I got the shorts in a size eight and then I got the shirt in a 12, just so it's a little bit more oversized because I wanted that kind of slouchy fit. And to be honest, it is quite long. So I could probably get away with just wearing this over a bikini or with some little like tiny skirt or something underneath, I don't know. But yeah, I really like those. No doubt there'll probably be more things that turn up through the door this week and I'll pop them in the vlog, but I just wanted to show you those ones. I'm gonna get on with filming because I've got a busy day of filming. My to-do list is, it's long. It's very long. I think I've got like, from what I can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six videos to film. My goodness is today warm the sun just went hello hi i'm gonna scold you all today because i fancy being really hot and fiery and it's beautiful because we're getting a nice tan but it's also seven million degrees i think my car's like 33 degrees at the moment and outside is probably not much better so i've decided what i'm going to do today is have today as my day off and then saturday and sunday james is working so i'm basically having a weekend of work so today's my saturday which is great. It's a Wednesday, but it feels like a Saturday to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna get home and I think just engross myself in a book, sit outside, soak up the sun, and maybe take like a big jug of water that I can keep tipping over myself just to cool down. That's the one thing I find annoying about the UK is like when we sunbathe, we don't have like a body of water that we can get in. So it's not like you can just sunbathe, get really hot, dive in the pool, get out, etc. You're kind of just stuck with the heat, which is a lot. It's definitely a lot. but I'm currently on my way to drop off some vintage parcels and then I shall be sunbathing probably with an ice cream. I might actually go pick up some Magnums because they do really good vegan ones. Mm. <laughs> protein and it's just like the best thing ever but i haven't got around to buying them because i really wanted to wait till my other protein ran out so i've got two on the go at the moment both of which are chocolate and yesterday i caved and thought you know what i'm just gonna make a huel order and we're just gonna we're gonna go with it because i've really wanted to try this for so long and it's about time that I did. So this is what I picked up. You might not be interested in this. If you're not, skip forward a couple of minutes. But if you are interested in like nutrition and plant-based things and like healthy eating and all that kind of stuff, this might be for you. Because I know since I've been mentioning more gym focused and like fitness stuff, some of you really like it. So I thought I would share it. And I got two different flavors of protein, which both come with scoops obviously as they should. So the first one is vanilla fudge and the second one is salted caramel, which is my favorite ever protein flavor, which is part of why it's annoying me that all I've got is chocolate because I love salted caramel flavorings. Um, then I've also got, what is in here? Oh, that was a free t-shirt that apparently you get when you 
buy stuff so I just got a men's XL for James because he just always works out in black t-shirts so I thought he could just have another one for his collection. Okay then they've sent me this which is part of a couple of other bits so there's a lot of free gifts in here actually like the t-shirt, the shaker and this. This is basically a pot that you can put something in that I will show you in a minute and like take it to work and stuff which is really handy and that thing is these which I picked up two different flavours so I got mac and cheese and I got Thai green curry and these are basically like ready meals almost but they're actually good for you ready meals but, but basically you give this a good shake pop in two scoops to a bowl or to like this for example at 125 mils of boiling water cover for five minutes and enjoy so it's essentially like a really quick easy alternative if you are someone who's always on the go so for example today where i'm busy filming all day i could just quickly make myself a little mac and cheese or something that's healthy and then i don't need to worry about waiting too long i can just pour the water in leave it five minutes quickly and then carry on with what i'm doing or if you work in an office or something these are quite a good alternative not to have maybe every day but to have like a few days you know um, but yeah, they're actually really good for you, which is a good thing. And then I also picked up some of these, which I buy all the time in Tesco's and they're like four pounds or something. They're really expensive. So I thought I would get some of them from the website because they work out cheaper to buy in bulk. <laughs> it's just the Huel shakes, which are again, really, really good for you. There's 12 in each box and they're basically like a meal shake. So yeah, I picked up these. Obviously I don't have these all the time. Like I don't drink one of these every day. I don't have like the mac and cheese and stuff every day, but they're quite handy to have for like on occasion. So I'd maybe have two of these a week potentially, one or two of the mac and cheese and add them into my diet alongside like loads of healthy veggie and stuff. But these are a really good way of getting protein in. And it's not an ad, I did buy these. I think it cost me like 110 pounds or something for all of it. But it's something that I wanted to share because I'm so into my fitness journey at the moment and like health journey and it's become such a lifestyle. Like if you've watched my vlogs for the last, God, I want to say like maybe a year, you'll have seen me progressively getting like more and more into working out and being more healthy and mindful and all that kind of thing. So I thought I'd share this with you because if you are someone who is plant-based or can't have dairy like me, these are, this is a really good brand to look into because it can be very difficult to find protein that is plant-based and that is good for you. So yeah, that's my little stash from Huel that's just turned up. Um, I'm a million degrees, so I'm gonna stop talking and put the aircon back on because it's really noisy. Let me show you how noisy it is. Like I literally can't do anything if this is on because it sounds like it's taking off, but it's a nice breeze and I really enjoy it. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you those and I'm gonna get back on with planning out what I'm doing today. As you can see behind me, I'm just getting ready to shoot some bits and I thought I'd show you my outfit because I never show what I actually wear during the week and I thought that today I would give you a little overview. Typically, if I'm filming a lot of videos in one day, I'll try and wear like two or three different outfits across all of them. But I also, say for example, I've got this on today. This will be the outfit that if I'm running errands or something, I'll just put back on. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got a little t-shirt from Zara, which you guys know, I wear these all the time. I love them so much. Belt is H&M and these trousers are also H&M, which are in a H&M haul that potentially is going up before this, but it might be after. It depends if I get it edited today. But they're really comfy. They're just like a nice gray tailored pair. I do also have them in black and they're just so comfortable and they kind of give that like elevated i mean i've got them rolled up a couple of times to keep me cool but they just elevate a casual outfit and make it look a bit smarter but also they'd be good like workwear ones as well so like if i worked in an office i feel like i'd wear these with like a little shirt or something and then um i'd wear them out as well like this with like a bodysuit or something would be really cute so yeah i really like them they are also elasticated at the back as well so good for bloke days but yeah this is my little outfit of the day do you know what's absolutely crazy all of these outfits in one reel will be like maybe 10 seconds tops but it takes me about an hour to try it all on <laughs> it's so hot okay right let's do it i put this on to film cutaways for a reel and like for a youtube video and i'm obsessed i think it's my favorite autumn outfit and it's not even autumn yet just got boots skirt this oversized h&m open knit top and then this <sighs> i love it guys it's official it's too hot to function and i don't know what to do because i i give myself a crazy amount of work to do and then I, it's not like essential work, but it's like stuff I really want to get done so that I'm ahead of myself. And then I panic because I can't do it all. And like, I'm trying to get loads done this week. I'm just word vomiting. And I'm trying to get loads done this week because I'm going on a trip in like three weeks time and I've got a friend coming over for three days next week. And you know when you just have like loads to do and not much time to do it and you really panic? Like that's me right now. Like I've got so much to do because I want to get backed up while I'm away. But then I also don't have time to do it. Well, I have time to do it. I've wanted to do it all today, but it's just way too hot. Like you can literally see the sweat on my face. 
Like I'm so sticky and my whole arms and my body are just sticky and it's uncomfortable trying to work. So I'm just giving myself a pause because it's way too uncomfortable to try and do anything. And I don't know what to do. Like I want to do stuff, but it's too hot. So is it like weather permitting? Cause the aircon is doing absolutely nothing. Like it's literally not cooling down that room at all. And I don't know whether to like, just, I don't, I don't know if it's cause it's a huge room. I don't know if it's cause the sun's still coming in and it's boiling. Like I just don't know, but I'm in two minds about like shutting all the curtains and stuff shutting the door and just really cooling that room down for like two hours and working in darkness to then film reels and open the windows and just be hot for a bit i don't know even in here is boiling and it's not even in the sun so i don't know i do not know but i need to get this hair off me because my hair underneath is now like just gross where it's so sweaty and i'm just so hot like i'm literally so hot i'm gonna stop moaning now but it's hot <laughs>